Okay, so every colour of you is in two different characters. Mm-hmm. Did you have a favourite character to read? I feel like I've got to know the characters so well in the last few days of reading it, I feel like I'd be cheating on one of them if I said yeah. I preferred one I have a favourite character. Do you? I think mine's Zoe. I I've, like Zoe. I've got a huge crush on Tristan. Yeah, I know. It's it's a weird one. Like, yeah. I don't know. I really fancy him and I really want to help him. Really? <laughs> oh, he does. <laughs> Oh, he's he is. So he can be a sweet. bit selfish, but like yeah. you do feel sorry I for feel him. Feel so sorry for him, and you could easily kind of. I mean, obviously, Zoe's character is everything you kind of want a woman yeah, to be, a yeah. young woman to be in a book. She's fun and kind and sweet and oh. amazing, and I just I adore her. And I just I love I love the difference in their characters. But how much they just work in sync. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, it is. It's nice. such a gorgeous contrast of different characters, and that somehow they've just, they find this amazing bond and chemistry. And oh, yeah, it's lovely. I love them both. Mm, I, couldn't, so I couldn't nice. pick a favourite. <laughs> <laughs> um, how long does it usually take to film an audiobook? Because this is all very new to me. It usually takes, this has taken three days, um, so two and a half, three days. Um, yeah, kind of. Yeah, about about that time, and I d- I don't mind doing them. It's a really, it's always, especially if you enjoy the book, it's always a yeah. nice few days. And yeah, I've I've really enjoyed the last few days. And so is it like is it like that? Then it's yeah, not just in like the book. a big stack of paper. paper. Oh, uh, some people like to use iPads, but number one, I always forget my iPad. Um, <laughs> uh, number two, I actually I prefer. It's reading always nice reading copy. from yeah, paper. Definitely. Yeah. I don't know why. I just prefer it. Although I have attempted to zoom in on the paper with my Fingers thinking it's touchscreen a few times. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. Do you have to like repeat it and stuff? If it, yeah. if it was me, I'd bluff up all the time. Like... Yeah, I mean, it's fine. You literally, you just, you read and read and then the second that you make a hiccup, you just take the sentence again. And hmm. Yeah. So I try and keep the swearing down to a minimum if I if I get yeah. something wrong. <laughs> it's all right. It's yeah. all right. Yeah. I would actually go crazy. I don't think I could do that. Do you not think? No. Mm. I could write it, just not read it. Yeah. That's it. Well, this is the thing. I couldn't write what oh, you've written. Okay. So. Good team there. Good team. <laughs> um, oh, what's your favourite thing about reading from an audio book? Do you know, I and this is quite naughty that I do this, but it, most people because they're more professional than me, probably. Um, they they read the story back to front before they actually come in and yeah, do the yeah. reading. I skim through it. I don't I don't make notes. I don't do anything. I like to be I like to kind of Get in the moment. Yeah, yeah and I, I and like to learn nice. as I go what's yeah. happening with the story. Because like you're saying, you didn't know what was no, going to happen I at d- the end. I like not knowing. Yeah, I like I that. I mean, I kind of learnt my lesson with that today because <laughs> on the last page, I was so upset by the end. Um, well, you know, like emotional. Yeah. Um, that I, in future, I probably will have to know what happens because I wasn't prepared for what I read today um, in a good way. But um yeah, no, I, I, I like to just kind of uh, learn as I go and be surprised. Because, you know, you, you're you in a small studio and it's nice to have surprises along the way. And Yeah. yeah. Um, but maybe I should do a bit more prep in future. How, how did you get into it? Like, um, do you have a voice agency? Yeah, yeah. I do. But, th- I mean, this all goes through just um, a regular agency. I remember doing my first one and I, I just really enjoyed the book. I think it's important to enjoy the book yeah. that you're reading. Because it is, you know, it's long hours sitting there reading. Yeah. But I mean, to some people, it's absolute heaven. You go, you go into a studio, read a book, go home. Yeah. Great. That Great. is quite nice. Yeah. Especially if you love a book. Yeah. And also, I've discovered it's made me, it's like educated me again on like my sight reading. and. Kind of, really? Yeah. Oh, it's, that's so cool. It's sort of, it's really kind of exercised my brain again into that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's cool. So what's the difference? Like, because obviously you do acting. Do you feel like you have to kind of like act with the characters or... Yeah, I I I tend to and this is the other thing if I don't really know what's about to happen and I'm I'm surprised myself in a scenario I think you get a, you do slightly get more of the kind of the real reaction. Yeah. Because if I'm if if there's a scene where you know there's meant to be shock and surprise I'm genuinely shocked and surprised because yeah, I've yeah, never read that's it. So, cool. so um yeah, uh I I I sometimes have to uh, put on like maybe a little accent for someone, really, or yeah, <laughs> or like um, you know, you you could you have to kind of make it make it clear who's speaking. Yeah, um, I've done yeah, audio books. This is a boy and a girl. So yeah. did you like struggle with that? Um, I think I I think it was all right. Well, I hope it's all right. I haven't listened back <laughs> yet. 
But I just kind of like, you can just sense a change in the tone, I think. Yeah. Um, but I've done audiobooks before where I've literally had to do Italian accents and oh uh, my gosh. all sorts. Yeah. So this was this was quite nice for me that I just got to stick with like uh, a Surrey kind of sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah just Surrey. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I th- I, I'm hoping you can uh, tell the difference. I, yeah, I think I think you can. Just a slight difference in tone. Well, with Zoe and Tristan. I mean, they're very different naturally yeah. anyway, what they speak I think with in. Zoe, her energy is just yeah. higher, so you just kind of feel oh, it more, I think, I'm I hope. S- I'm so excited to hear oh, it. Good. Thank you for reading. Oh. What would you, um, without giving too much away, what, what's your favourite? Fa- what, what have you learnt from Every Colour of You? I've learned that you're an incredible writer. <laughs> I've learned that at 21 years old, oh. you can be so articulate and wise and brilliant. Okay, um, I didn't mean compliment me, but I, thanks. No, but like, honestly, I, I, I can't believe... When I was told how old you are, oh. it sounds so patronising, God. Um, I can't believe what you've come up with. And it's wonderful. I think the whole book is amazing. I love that it's it's so realistic Um it's kind of it's you know it's not a fairy tale. Yeah. It's 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 addressing real issues that people have, real taboo issues. Um, the idea you know of depression, especially in males. Yeah, it's such a taboo subject that people are really trying to break down at the moment. And I just think it can resonate with so many different types of people. And it ties up so beautifully at the end. Um, and even though there are very very sad moments, just warning everyone, <laughs> it's also rounded up really beautifully and. Yeah, it's just, it will make you cry, but it will also make you smile as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just, I just loved how realistic it was. And it's not trying to say that the world and life it's, is perfect. It's not, yeah. No, it's yeah. people, everybody has their own struggles. Um, it's just about how you cope and get through them. Yeah, oh, that's um, so nice. Yeah, because, yeah, I, I mean, when I was writing, I didn't want the characters to be perfect. Like, Zoe mm. could annoy you a bit because yeah. she's just so happy. Yeah. Or Tristan, you can find a bit selfish, but, like, mm. that's how people are. And I think the the great thing about it as well is that you, when you read a great book, you can visualise everything. Yeah. I could just visualise absolutely everything. Oh. And uh, the gay dad, Dads love the gay yeah. dads. And That's I thought, so I just nice. I just think your take on, you know, modern families and yeah, well, modern th- situations, it's just, it's genius. Oh, and I think you. it's brilliant. And I, I just tried to, because I think, like, I didn't want it to be a huge part of the story or, like, some drama, but, you know, mm. people have gay dads. Exactly. Why, I, why I love they that. Yeah. And, oh. it's, I, and I just think it's, you've tackled so many different um, kind of modern um, subjects really really well oh, and so I nice. think it will just it will resonate with so many different types of people thank you amazing oh, thank you so in answer to that question I loved the whole <laughs> thing great from Aww. start to finish I was very hooked you're just loved complimenting it. me I love it <laughs> yeah <laughs> thank you so much no you're welcome thank you, thank you.